Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I'm going to talk about the hard gainer, Stuart McRobert programming or his style of muscle building and bodybuilding. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. All right, in the modern landscape, routines like this are almost dead. You rarely ever hear about them. But back 10 years ago, these were actually very popular. There is an author by the name of Stuart McRobert who is like spotting the Yeti. Uh, it's a gentleman that has written many books on lifting, but it's almost impossible to see pictures of him. Uh, but that's, that's beside the point. But he wrote a book called Braun, and Braun was basically muscle building or bodybuilding or strength training for the hard gainer. Uh, he had a lot of different principles. He was very divisive in the community. Some people liked him. Some people thought he was a fool. He has a lot of good things to think about. I'm a fan of some of his information. Some of his information I don't necessarily believe. So let me know what you think about think about these types of workouts. Drop a comment down below. But his first book was called Braun. Now Braun was very much about progressive overload. Progressive overload. Progressive overload. Now. In his book, Braun, Stuart McRobert gives some reasonable uh, opinions, advice, guidelines for the average lifter, the average hard gainer, okay? So he says, if you're about 5'9", 190 pounds, and you want to get to 16.4 inch arms or 24 inch legs, you're going to have to get too close to these strength standards. So he lists a squat of 300 by 15 to 20, a deadlift of 350 by 15 to 20, bench 250 by six to eight, an overhead press about 190 for a single or 150 by six. Now, those are some pretty impressive strength standards just to get to those levels. I pretty much agree with them. Those are some good guidelines. You really have to have a strong uh, squat and deadlift. His pressing uh, levels or his pressing goals are a little bit on the light side, I would say, but that's something that's completely debatable. Uh, but again, that was his his guidelines to get to these levels. Now, he has many, many routines in his books, and I can't possibly talk about them all, but basically Stuart McRobert was about more abbreviated routines for the natural lifter the non-steroid abusing lifter something that would keep you going for the long run keep you healthy etc so the first two routines listed in his book are a 20 rep squat routine and a 20 rep deadlift routine and you can see they're, they're not necessarily easy, uh, but they're very, very abbreviated. You perform them a couple times a week, two to three times a week, I believe. For upper body work, Stuart McRobert recommended, and he says in his book that none of these are rules or general guidelines. For upper body work, one to three sets per upper body movement for six to nine reps. For lower body, 10 to 12 reps per set. He does get into things like different set and rep schemes. Uh, like a 5x5, five five, how to approach 5x5. Five five. There's some stuff in there about powerlifting, peaking, all kinds of stuff. But in general, you can see the sets are on the lower end. Um, there's not a lot of uh, overall volume. Um, and it's a very abbreviated, very focused uh, routine. So his 20 rep squat routine, you would start with both of these routines. You would start with crunch style abs, um, some type of crunch style ab uh, exercise. Then you would work, move on to a 20 rep squat plus a superset with a pullover, a dumbbell pullover. Uh, the deadlift routine, you don't do the pullover, you just do the 20 rep deadlift. Then you move on to a calf exercise, the dumbbell single leg calf raise or machine calf raise. And after that, the programs are basically the same thing. Stiff leg deadlift, you only perform once a week. Uh, after that, you do bench press, lat pull downs, and seated press. And each of those obviously are going to be for about his guideline one to three sets by six to nine reps so at tops you you're looking at like nine ten uh 11 12 you know 13 14 sets maybe 15 sets max which really isn't that bad uh overall but again a very limited uh, number of exercises you repeat these exercises over and over again if i was trying to uh, apply this uh, as a lifter what I would probably do is work in some variation. Um, you could do something like these, and then you could work in a variation. You could work in, uh, you know, if you're working out in a gym, uh, you know, a general commercial gym, and you're after 
uh, muscle building. You're not after necessarily top end strength. You just want to look good, build a little strength. You could rotate and do like between squats one day, uh, deadlifts the next, uh, maybe squats and leg presses. Um, you know, I really don't agree with doing calf raises after legs. I'd rather have those at the end of a workout, save my energy for the bigger lifts. But bench presses, you could rotate with dumbbell bench. Obviously, uh, lat pull downs, you could rotate with dumbbell rows, seated cable rows. And uh, seated press, obviously, you could rotate with dumbbell overhead press. But you can see, um, you know, there's not a lot of direct work, not a lot of isolation work. You do have abs, you do have uh, of calf raises and stuff like that. Um, no pull-ups, no dips in this routine, but I'm sure if you look in his book, they're probably worked in there somewhere. So again, Stuart McRobert, hard gainer. Uh, Braun, this comes from the book Braun. This was a very, very popular style of training, a very, very uh, divisive style of training. Some people loved it, some people hated it, but it's very much a part of lifting history. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment down below. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.